Hello, Cynthia. How are you? Hi, I'm doing fantastic. Bye week, so I'm stoked. I made it. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, Cynthia, I'm going to start with a very blunt one. We know that Jennifer Maya has missed weight in the past several times. How much is it in your mind something might happen and they call you to step in for Saturday? I'll be ready. I'm always ready. So that's definitely something I have, you know, in the back of my head if it happens. I never want to look past my opponent and, you know, Caitlin's the task at hand. But if they tell me, hey, Jennifer can't make it to the fight, you got to step in, I'm all in. This is your second consecutive fight at flyweight in the UFC. Can you just talk about how this camp went how your body felt staying at 125 for this one yeah and to be honest it's been amazing coming up back to 25s um you know they feed me a lot so it's really different to be able to fuel my body for performance versus fueling my body to make weight you know and to do that before the fight it's it it can mess with your head a lot especially if you have rough weight cuts and you're like oh i gotta go on there am i gonna really be able to push the pace that i want you know, if this weight cut's going to be an issue and, you know, stressors, they affect us physically, you know, not just mentally. So um, it's been such a big game changer. I, I feel really good that I can put all my focus in training. Caitlin Chukagian's making a kind of quick turnaround from her last fight. Do you expect her to fight any differently coming off of that last one? Or do you expect her to be more of the same of what we've seen? Um, I, you know, obviously, you know, the way that she lost it, it, it's, really unfortunate, which is like a body shot. And I feel like most fighters when they get, you know, they get finished with the body shot or the fight gets stopped, it, it's hard because it's like, it's not like they got super beat up, you know, and it really happened in the first round. So you just want to get back in there and make it right. So I'm expecting her for sure. She's not going to come out reckless or anything, but she's going to come out sharp and she's going to come out focused to make sure that that doesn't happen again. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm ready for it. I'm, I'm not expecting an easy fight. Um, I think that she's she's going to do her best to to try to make that loss right. My final question, and I asked because I'd really like to hear your side of the story. We did hear about Lauren Murphy saying, you know what? I was up for fighting Cynthia. I thought we were going to do this in December. Just can you give me your side of where the talks were ultimately at for you guys to fight? I mean, honestly, at this point, like she's not even at my concern. This is all. They offered the fight to her on the November 21st. She said, no, that's all I heard. I didn't hear about any other dates. I don't know any about that. All I heard was that we're trying to get you on November 21st because we have an opening. Do you want to fight Lauren? I said, yes, 100%. Of course I would want to rebook her. I heard she said no. So then they asked Caitlin. Caitlin said yes, and this is what we're doing now. Nothing else matters. The only person that pacified this opportunity was her when she decided it is not wait for me. And, um, you know, if she, I think she also made a mention as far as like me making a way, finding a way out to fight her. But how is me taking a fight some against someone who's higher ranked than her and also beat her, taking the way out? So she's a little bit backwards there. She can just sit down and you know think whatever she wants to think. Understood. Thank you, Cynthia. We will take our next set of questions from Damon Martin with MMA Fighting. Hey, Cynthia. Uh, so much changes. I spoke to Valentina a couple months ago. We talked about your fight with Lauren, number one contender fight. Now here you are a couple months later, you're fighting Caitlin Chukagan. Of course, we got the Jessica Andrade question out there as well. Uh, do you look at this fight as a number one contender's fight? Do you believe a win here should earn you the title shot? I mean, you know, if we're all good at math, I, I'd say yes. I mean, I beat the number one contender. I beat the number two contender. I feel like I should be going up, not down. So... Um, it's pretty apparent that I should be very deserving of a title shot. Obviously, I'm sure there's nothing on draws over that, but you know, she comes out, she gets a big win, of course, former champ, and everyone's talking about her. But is there any frustration or anger or just kind of like shaking your head that, like, you know, suddenly now she's kind of jumped the line and everyone's saying, you know, she should be the next one in line? Like, does that frustrate you at all or anger you at all? Man, not at all. They, like, my, my shot's going to come. You know, I'm going to beat these girls. It's going to come. I'm I'm really not upset about it. Um, I just want to fight Jessica and Draw. She's a real contender. Um, you know, obviously, I want to fight for the title. I'm down to fight her. I'm down to fight whoever I need to fight. Is there any part of you the opportunity to fight a, a contender like Caitlin Chukagian? 
on the main card as the title fight, you know? Yeah, I mean, I mean, if if Jennifer Maya doesn't make it to the fight, I'm the one that's gonna step in. So, uh, you know, obviously there's been talks. There's a reason why I'm fighting on this card. Um, you know, I'm I'm here. Every I, I beat the number one contender in my my debut. Now I'm gonna beat the number two. So, yeah, I mean it's it's all good. I think it, everything's gonna be aligned correctly, and I'm gonna get that title shot when it's due. Um, but obviously it's a I'm, I feel good about being on the same card as Valentina and Jennifer. In case Jennifer doesn't make it, I'll step in. Do you, is a chance to make a statement. You had a chance to headline a card in your flight, and you took out you know former title contender. Do you feel like there's a chance to make a, a bigger statement with this one, considering you are on the same card? If everything goes forward as you know as it's scheduled, she a Valentina fights Jennifer, and you fight Caitlin. Do you feel like you know beating Caitlin is great, but you want to make a statement with a win over Caitlin? I mean, absolutely. After what Jessica and Draj did, of course, I'd want to do that. You know, where it, it's awesome. I love how exciting this division is getting. You know, um, exciting fights, and I think that's what you need to do. That's what the fans want. You know, and especially us as fighters, like, man, you want to you want to have leave no question to the judges or anybody. You know, because everybody could be watching a different fight. You know, when the when you go to a decision, but if there's a finish, that's the clear winner right there. There is no question about who the winner is. And so, of course, you want to make sure you make a statement and get those finishes. And last one for me, uh, going into your fight with the title fight with Valentina against Jennifer, I, I saw the odds today. Right now, Valentina is around a 17 to 1 favorite. Uh, so I think a lot of people believe she's going to win. Uh, I'll ask for your prediction, but do you see any route that, you know, Jennifer Maya could pull off the upset? Or are you kind of in your head thinking it's going to be another Valentina Shevchenko win? Um, I definitely do think that, um, you know, I, I'm in there with like everybody else. I do feel like Valentina is going to win this fight. Um, I'm not saying that she's unbeatable or anything like that. I think that just the way that the division is and like stylistically, um, who she's been facing, I feel like, um, you know, what Jennifer Maya has to offer is obviously dangerous, but Valentina is such a smart fighter and veteran and counter striker unless she makes some mistakes herself and somehow ends up on her on her back which she's but you know she's obviously she's still pretty scrappy on her back she's gotten submissions off her back but you know if i'm saying like you know jennifer maya just happens to take her down and hold her down that may be a way for her to beat her but i don't really see that happening thank you cynthia We will take our next set of questions from Carlos Contreras with Milenio Diario. Carlos, please go ahead. Hola, Cintia, ¿cómo estás? Hola, buenos días, ¿cómo están? Bien, eh, cuéntame un poco de cómo fue todo el cambio, porque fue una pelea diferente, la que se cayó en octubre, y hoy estás en esta noche, que ya lo decías, te puede dar la oportunidad de pelear por el título, si no es eh, con Jennifer Maya fallando en el peso, ganando, seguramente no habrá quien diga que tú no eres la siguiente retadora. Sí, bueno, claro que sí. La, la única diferencia fue obviamente que nomás tenemos que tomar en cuenta qué son los, qué, qué es lo que las fuerzas que tiene Lauren y de lo que tiene Kaylin. Kaylin está más larga, alta, y contra Lauren, ella era más, era más mucho, bien fuerte. Por, por ese weight class. Um, para mí el plan siempre es igual. Las quiero luchar, llegar al suelo, su misión, o si no, ganar por chiqueo. También parece que sería un buen plan para ganarle a Valentina, ¿no? Lo sí, claro que sí. Siempre. El muchísimo. plan siempre. No importa si es striker o grappler, para mí los voy a luchar y los quiero bajar al suelo. Ahí es donde, bueno, es donde, eh, donde yo tengo las mejores fuerzas. Yo creo que ya tengo el mejor... Uh, puedo luchar y soy la mejor grappler de esta división. Decías hace un instante que, que veías muy difícil que Jennifer Maya lo podía lograr. Eh, ¿Cómo o piensas que tú sí en algún momento puedes hacerlo con, con, con Valentina, que ha mostrado muy buena defensa en el piso? Sí, pero yo, yo, yo creo que soy muy diferente. Yo me puedo mover más rápido que las, las demás que están en esa división. Subiendo de peso, de, de, you know, de strawway a flyway, yo tengo la ventaja de estar más rápido. Y luego yo nomás creo que tengo, pues tengo el mejor grappling para MMA. No es como 
tradicional y yo creo que allí me da la ventaja contra todos los que están en el división. Muchas gracias, Cintia. Suerte el sábado. Gracias. gracias. And we will take our next set of questions from Sue McDada with Sports Kita. Hi, Cynthia. Hope you're doing well. Hi. Yes, I am. So uh, you're obviously scheduled to fight at UFC 254. Then wait till UFC 255 to see how Valentina Shevchenko versus Jennifer Maia would play out. But of course, after everything that happened in the past few weeks, here you are sharing the same card with Valentina. Now, do you feel that you'll have to prove a point to the champion this weekend? Um, absolutely. I mean, I feel like me just coming into the flyweight division, even after my last fight, yeah, I beat the number one contender, but people are still in question just because it was a short notice fight. And, um, you know, I don't think they saw the best Cynthia. They didn't see the best Jessica I during those times. But um, I feel like, you know, I got to remind people, you know, I am, I am, you know, dangerous in the division. I am someone who's, you know, deserving of a title shot. So I definitely feel like I got to make a statement, especially after Jessica and Draj came in here you know, took out the number one contender in the first round, like, you know, I, I got to do it too. You know, I can't just slide by and get these wins. Um, you got to make a statement every single time. So uh, speaking of UFC 254, you were obviously scheduled to fight Lauren Murphy there, but then she went on and got a good win for herself. Now, would you be interested in rebooking that fight after this weekend? Um, no, not really. I mean, if she's in the way, if that's who you, UFC wants me to fight for a title, then cool but if not no why why would i why would i give her a shot to fight someone who's higher ranked after she passed me like you know i, I don't know her anything you know if she get, she gets up there and wins like an up you know gets another win against another top five ranked opponent for her to make her argument for the title cool but after her last win i don't think she has an argument she went on vacation got an easy paycheck against a very beatable girl that i've trained with before who Lauren should have finished in the first round. Um, so I, I, yeah, no, Lauren who? And uh, you mentioned in the past that your goal was always to win the strawweight title. And you consider that to be the toughest women's division right now. But of course, the flyweight da uh, division is no less dangerous. And with the exception of the champion, do you think there's anyone who holds a tough competition from the division right now? Man, we got some good girls that came in now. So I was like, I would say definitely before at the flyweight division, it wasn't as stacked before, but it's shaping up nicely. I mean, we got Jessica and Raj, Alexa Gross was coming out. Then, you know, Macy Barber too, who's coming off of an injury. We we have like, the flyweight division is definitely shaping up very nicely and I'm super stoked. At first, yeah, I was a little bit stubborn. I didn't want to leave the strawweight division, but I'm super excited to be in this division not only because we have one of the most dominant champions, you know, female champions, but also because of all the, the rest of, uh, fight, you know, amazing fighters that are coming into that division. Okay, and lastly for me, uh, do you think a win this weekend puts you in prime position to challenge for the title next? Absolutely. I beat the number one contender, beat the number two contender, so I definitely feel like the next, I'm the one next for a title shot.